people to recognize uh, mainstream views that I agree. Momenting you. Miss Claudia Mo. I'm wearing a red earring and a green earring, and then people would always uh, say it out of goodwill to tell me whether I've got the wrong earring because they are asymmetrical. And also, for some people design clothing in such a way that the seams are worn on the outside, and then still some people would come along to say, did you wear your garment inside out? What they have in mind is that this is against tradition, that this is against the norm. We heard this word, norm, just now. Must we follow the norms? Why is it that in our daily lives, we cannot be different? Just now, Mr. James Toe was saying the most important thing is to think of legal relationships. I fully understand where he comes from. He's a lawyer, of course. However, in many Western societies, including Canada, of course, when you talk about a marriage relationship and that you should swear and then it must be traditional with one man and a woman, well, but still now, after you have cohabited for three years, even if there is not a marriage certificate, you will be regarded as having a formal marriage relationship. We talk about alimony, estates, children rearing rights, and social values. All these are artificial. The law should serve the people. It is not there to restrain people, but of course the SAR administration has a different view. But that belongs to another debate. But all rules and regulations are artificial. You make your own decision. Well, international example in point is in Ireland. The premier elected by the people is a colored person. Well, we had uh, Barack Obama in the US, of course. And uh, he or she also said that uh, it was a uh, homosexual, and 90% of people in Ireland are Catholic. They are Roman Catholics. Therefore, in human civilization, we are continuously progressing and we are changing. I was a journalist. At that time, it was a taboo to talk about homosexuality. You should not even mention it in a Chinese society. It doesn't exist, but today, we talk about equal rights for homosexuals. So society, ha society has changed. Look at our history of civilization. If we have always stuck to what we believe, the earth must be flat. You will only have a flat view. But then the earth is really round and spherical. And can we expect human beings to resist um, the pull of gravity and fly? But we do, we have airplanes. At the end of the 60s, we landed on the moon. Therefore, think about it. What do you mean by tradition? What do you mean by norm? And what do you mean by human values and rules? Should we always stick to the same thing? Can we not change in the colonial era I did a lot of news gathering, and at that time we were um, de discriminating homosexuality. Well, people did not realize that homosexuality was illegal and that we were trying to make a law to discriminalize it, and we passed it in the end. And today we are talking about a study. Mr. Chen Chi-Chin is proposing a study on the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into a union. No one is denying that there will be a lot of legal controversies and controversies about values, and we are asking you only to study into it. If you will refuse even to conduct a study, you are negating 
the fact that human civilization means we have to progress. At the beginning, I learned about homosexuality from uh, the Chinese version of the Reader's Digest. I was in my teens. It was a taboo that it should not be mentioned. And then I read um, that Reader's Digest in detail. It was digest because it was uh, including articles from different sources. That was an article on some conclusions from medical journals. It said that people out of goodwill thought that homosexuality was a kind of a medical condition. That spiritually or physically uh, something was abnormal and people should help to cure homosexuals. And different ways were adopted, electric shock, a drug treatment, or even psychological or psychiatric treatment. But the conclusion of that article was, and I'm talking about the 80s, and even earlier it was the 70s, the conclusion was, the general medical practitioner and scientists concluded that homosexuality was genetic. That it was not something trendy or a product of distorted thoughts. Homosexuality was 100% genetic. Dr. Helena Wong President, I'd like to thank Mr. Ray Chan for proposing this motion of asking the government to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into a union. This was put on the agenda for very long and after numerous delays, finally, this morning we can have a discussion on it. First, I need to declare that in our platform, the Democratic Party points out that we support the making of anti-discrimination legislation and equal rights. However, with regard to same-sex marriage or civil union, we have not got a consensus within the party and therefore we do not have a clear stance on this in our platform. Within the DP, we have a Gender Rights Committee. I'm the chairman of the committee. And we held a meeting to discuss this motion. We proposed to DP members that on Mr. Chen's motion and Mr. Alnock Hins and Gary Fan's amendments, we would vote for them and we would vote against Priscilla Leung's amendment. However, in the party, we haven't come to a clear policy on this and we will still therefore allow members to speak from their own personal religion or their interpretation of the policy. Well, we are allowed that um, they can vote as they like, but then I think, I'm quite sure that all members would abide by the conclusion of the committee within DP. Talking about the original motion first, it's very clear that it urges the government to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into union so that they can enjoy equal rights as heterosexual couples. The focus is to ask the government to study the issue because there is no policy yet and we should study the issue. Well, I can't see why the government can say there is no need to study into the issue. Therefore, we think we should support the motion. Well, talking about the motion, this would involve upon the making of legislation and policies so that homosexual couples can have equal rights. But then 
I like to say here that a study doesn't mean immediate legislation. I believe there should be public engagement and public debate. However, if you don't even study the issue, I think this does not reflect the aspirations of the public. Therefore, we should start a debate and a study, and there must be comprehensive consultation. As for the making of policies and legislation, how should that be done? That can, that can be done in different ways, I believe. Maybe you can allow for same-sex marriage, you legalize it, or no, it's not a marriage, but a civil union. Or in some countries, they go for domestic partnership. Therefore, in law, you can approach this from different angles. As for equal rights, you can say, okay, there will be identical rights for homosexual and heterosexual marriages. That can be one way to do it. Or in some countries, you can see that they don't necessarily give equal rights. They will have a they will avail themselves to the consensus in society and the values in that society in order to treat homosexual partners and heterosexual partners. Therefore, we may go for partial rights or some of the rights. That depends on the acceptability of the public and the values of a particular society. Therefore, Mr. Aunok Hin is saying that these people can at least enjoy some of the rights available to married couples. So give them some rights, if not all. This is what Mr. Ao is talking about, and we accept it. We are talking about starting some consultation and to see what is acceptable. Mr. Gary Fan is more specific. He is asking for four rights, and he is quite clear about those. The right to collect their partner's dead bodies or cremated ashes. Two, to make important medical decisions on their partner's behalf. Three, to receive the compensation paid to their partners who died in accidents. And four, to make decisions on living donation for their partners. He has chosen these four. Mr. Fan is the one who should explain why he chooses these four. And if you look at countries around the world, there are different forms of civil union or domestic partnership, and they can choose the rights to be given. Well, some countries accept adoption, some don't. This is a debate that allows us the space to handle such a, an issue. Before I conclude, I'd like to draw your attention to the Center on the Study of Comparative Law and Public Law. Uh, their tracking survey showed that from 2013 to 2017, those who supported same-sex marriage reached 50.4%. In 2013, that was only 38%. Thank you. Mr. Choi Dick, usually, I usually, I think um, Mr. Ch James to have been usually very analytical and clear. But in today's speech, I frankly have no idea what he's trying to convey. For his focus is just um, had to do with more than one than one relationship because it a lot of implications and those around us and insurance, employment, and so on. He mentioned another problem that what is the bottom line for our society? I agreed that if the government, if the study formulation of policies for homosexual couples, the bottom line should 
shift as well from one man and women which uh, to two individuals between uh, consenting mature adults not that we don't have the bottom line and yet it has shifted it won't be shifted to one person to lots of people that's not what we're fighting for it is for one man and women to become two individuals regardless of their gender it is changed in bottom line I believe well unlike what Dr. G Mr. James has said required society changed its mainstream value its mainstream value will remain as one man and women and one husband one wife so that's the mainstream value even if you have the policy for homosexual couples to enter union that won't change hope the mem and my colleagues will take notes I think the goal of Mr. Ray Chan's motion is to help the government to give a comprehensive consideration in one go. But we'll be wasting a lot of court time and let's go debate time on to debate whether a same sex partner can enjoy the same rights as a head to a sexual partner. If we do it on a peaceful meal manner and, and go through one court case to another, well it would take three to four years before you get to court to find an appeal. So maybe the the Ray Chen is is thinking from the government's point of view to help the the court and the government to spare a lot of unnecessary controversial controversies. We need a holistic consideration if we have since that over a policy then we have to abide by it and the legislations we have make corresponding arrangements I agree with Mr. Ray Chan's motion not agree that the government should study the formation policy I think government should implement the policy for homosexual couples to enter union so when I look at Mr. Owls and Mr. Fan's motion I been hesitant. I think they have been trying to provide some kind of uh, discounted uh, a package. Let's say to enjoy, let them enjoy some of their rights, or return to that piecemeal approach to lobby for more rights. As for how I should vote, I probably seek, seek Mr. Chan's opinion from the stakeholders to see what we should support to other amendments as well because I support full acre rights instead of all the bells and whistles and our discounting and a piecemeal etc from Dr. Leung's I see there are less hostility in this uh, urge to get went to uh, To understand studies on equal rights for different of sexual orientation, so study is right. So, so the focus, like Dr. Leung said, however, it should not shake the existing marriage institution. It preserves some flexibility. So, in Dr. Leung uh, will not a. Uh, uh, a ban what is written in Mr. Fan's motion. That's the condition being they should not shake the existing marriage institution. So for the word shaking, I believe there's some flexibility built in. So uh, more or less the term is pretty subjective. As for you to determine that where the civil union that will shake the marriage institution, I believe we can enter it the next phase discussion. Uh, so, and even if we have a, a comprehensive same-sex union policy, I believe that the mainstream 
value of society is still heterosexual monogamy marriage. That's the existing marriage institution. It will not disappear. I will not be shaken in any form. And and for the intolerance towards the LGBT community, some of the values are linked to one another. So if you have reservation towards LGBT at the same time, uh, you would be happy to accept the authoritarian rule of the Chinese Communist Party. I believe that Hong Kong as a free society that even the, those improves the establishment camp, even you pro Beijing. And when it comes to the, the entering into the union, I hope that you would would link this to separate two issues. I hope that. Dr. KK Kwok. Thank you, President. I speak to support Honorable Chance original motion and the amendments by Mr. Ao Lok Hin and Kerry Fan and against Dr. Priscilla Leung's motion. This year policy address is not that they haven't done anything. It claims that the Hong government has committed to to uh, promote equal opportunities for people of different orientations, transgender, on the basis of upholding existing institutional monogamy and heterosexual marriage. On public education publicity, we're proactively promoting the culture and value of inclusiveness. And also stated there are uh, 300 organizations employing over half a million employees have adopted the code of practice against discrimination in employment on grounds of sexual orientation. This gave the impression that she viewed that the ongoing initiatives are enough. And however, she also promised that um, she would study experience of other places implementing any discrimination measures through administrative and legislative initiatives and hope that the findings would provide more information to facilitate a more in-depth and rational discussion in the community. So that's actually the focus of the whole paragraph. Well, when we touch on the, well, there's nothing new to the discussion on the legislation to ban sexual orientation discrimination. And um, EOC had provided a submission earlier to Dlechko. Back then, it suggested, as in, there were evidence of extensive discrimination on LGBT community. The focus should be on the scope of legislation and the content instead of whether we should legislate or not. That is two and a half months ago in the EOC submission to LegCo. It stated that we should decide uh, the, uh, the provisions and the contest instead of what the government claimed or whether we should legislate or not. I. I'm worried that the government's approach uh, will lead to the uh, never-ending delay of the Sexual Orientation Discrimination Ordinance, with its passage nowhere in sight. And a lot of the legislators have quoted the HKU st study in the survey that was issued on July 2018. About 70% of respondents have agreed uh, to legislate on the ban discrimination on sexual discrimination orientation. That's the first strong message to the government that a majority of the public come have an enhanced understanding towards the issue. Not only um, they would agree to legislate to ban the legislation, they would also is the government that's dragging its feet. And um, Mr. President, you have approved Dr. Leung's amendment. Just when the other uh, debate on the amendments, that her amendments 
have uh, dismantled Mr. Chan's original motion and actually run contrary to on his intention. She stated that um, the existing marriage institution based on one man, one woman, one husband, one wife, and need to uphold the stability of the marriage institution and protect the relevant rights and interests and so on. So all in all, her amendment motion is negating Mr. Chan's original motion. That's fairly outrageous. If Dr. Lerns would like chose to do this, you should just move her own motion instead. And on Mr. Chan's original motion that to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into union so that they can enjoy equal rights as heterosexual couples. So the direction is clear enough. After being amended doc by Dr. Leung, that um, the uh, equal rights legis formulation policies that will uh, shake the institution, which is direct polar opposite of Mr. Chen, which is an undesirable approach. And well, it didn't say overtly. But itself is discriminative and attacking on polarizing enough. And the mainstream, well, is always the um, one man, one woman, one man, one wife. And that's why the non mainstream, those with dif dif different sexual orientation, could not re afford equal rights and legal protection in today's society. And to uh, uh, appeal for uh, equal protection under the law, why? To shaking the existing marriage institution. One man, one woman, one husband, one wife will continue to be the mainstream in society. However, you should not use this mainstream to uh, take away or discriminate a, a sexual minority. A few days ago, I went to the Hong Kong Pride March a few days ago. I noticed that a lot of the Christians and from a fellowship or from a church or from the Bible class well, um, would, which was from an LGBT church. Even though I'm not a Christian myself, however, um, in the Bible he would only be with the weakest in the society and would not discriminate them. I don't understand that those uh, in the name of religion that would attack the homosexuals. That's not the attitude we should have. So submit. Dr. Fernando Zhang, President, I first make clear about my position. The Labour Party first supports legislating to prohibit discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation as soon as possible. Two, we support same-sex marriage. In the long run, we think that there should be legislation in Hong Kong to legalize same-sex marriage. At this stage, we admit that same-sex marriage is a controversial topic. And we do need to take a progressive or gradual approach. In a lot of places, same-sex marriage is recognized under the law in other places. But it doesn't mean that this topic is not controversial. However, we look at this from the perspective of equal rights. First, we do need to admit and recognize and recognized that same sex marriage same sex relationship exist is the same as that of among heterosexual people we can't just close our eyes and and say it doesn't exist there are people who do things differently, say for example, minorities.
we think that they don't conform. The most s serious case is that uh, society will see that as against the law. I think um, currently consideration of homosexual relationship is mostly from a moral perspective. They think that it is immoral, probably because from a religious perspective, or they think that it is not natural. As a result, it is immoral. But the problem is that they fail to see the multifacets of human nature. They can't explain why they think this is immoral. But what is a marriage? It's a marriage. A marriage is between two people who are in an intimate relationship, so intimate that they uh, that it is a sexual relationship. There is love. They talk to each other. They enjoy the company of each other. They feel a sense of responsibility towards the other, and they may. Um, have children and form a family together. But does it only exist between one man and a woman? The objective truth is that it exists in same-sex relationship. But the thing is, some people will call that immoral. When it comes to a marriage, you don't take into consideration a moral background of the two parties in a marriage. Say, for example, one is a thief. Are you going to ban that person from getting married? Say, for example, if someone uh, who is a philanthropist or someone who, is, who visits uh, prostitutes, are we going to stop that person from getting married? No. And there is also one factor, say, for example, someone who is uh, incomp incomp um, impo impotent. Are we going to stop that person from getting married under the law? No. We do not take into consideration moral factors before we allow a person to marry. Of course, there, there, there is also a moral inclination and a society always carries with it moral values. But if you use these values to exclude minorities, that itself is immoral. So if you use this perspective, then it is immoral. Well, before uh, when I was talking about stopping people from getting married, one of them is a philanderer. Well, of course, there are some practical arrangements uh, subsequent to a marriage, say, for example, tax arrangements, um, estate, uh, the right to adopt, custody, immigration, the right to make decisions relating to a person's property, estate, or health care. And these are rights conferred under the institution of marriage. There is something that a lot of people oppose to. Marriage is a way to show to the outside world a certain statement. It's a recognition, a kind of respect, a form of dignity. You make a statement to the outside world that right is important. We won't deprive someone of this right because these two parties are of the same sex. Let me come back to um, this. Sitho has been doing a lot of work along this line. The baton is, carry is um, carried by Mr. Chen now. We do have to continue to fight for this. Public opinion is changing. Uh, figures have been cited by other members. I'm not going to repeat it. The world is changing. 
I hope that people who hold on to their moral high ground will open their eyes. If you want to be moral, don't discriminate against minorities. People with different sexual orientations should enjoy equal rights. They have not undermined your rights and they will not uh, erode the um, monogamous um, marriage institution. Mr. Wu Chi-wai, this is a motion to study the f into the formulation of po policies for homosexual couples. I see that a lot of members who have spoken have expressed concerns about uh, overseas experience in that uh, after legislating f uh, to recognize same-sex uh, union there there would be at uh, that would be reverse reverse uh, discrimination but we do have to through legislation, ensure that there won't be any reverse discrimination. That is a very important principle. This will narrow our differences. If you simply th think that overseas experience will happen here. As a result, we should not um, promote same-sex marriage, then it is wrong. Well, we see that from different polls and uh, surveys that public opinion is changing. Society changes. People have different views as society progresses. Mr. Ray Chan moves a motion to study into this topic. We have to have a discussion. Public views have changed. We have to consider where things stand to protect people's rights. My third point. In other countries, um, there is marriage, civil union, civil partnership. There are many different approaches. It shows that they, these different approaches cater for a different opinion. Say, for example, those who advocate traditional um, values and other values. Regarding equal rights for sexual minorities, well, there are different considerations. When we promote equal rights, you will have to understand views change. We talk about uh, when we talk about uh, same-sex marriage, we have in mind um, a man and a man and a man and a woman and a woman. Then. Uh, we find it easier to understand, but at different times, perhaps the combination may be different. When studying, when doing studies, we do need to identify the issues instead of uh, sweeping everything under the carpet. That is not how I see it. I don't have a rainbow flag in front of me like the others. Um, there are things that I'm not sure about. I don't have a flag in front of me, but I still support the commencement of studies because the more you look into it, the better you will understand it.
when one exercises one's free will as an adult and it doesn't affect others, then the exercise of that free will should be protected and respected. We can take reference from court cases and overseas jurisdictions. Why do we close all doors and refuse to look into it? Why don't we try to forge a consensus? We should not allow this topic to remain unresolved. Uh, we should not try to avoid this issue. Uh, say, for example, reverse discrimination. If we don't face this possibility, then we will not be able to narrow down our differences. I recall a very long time ago, people fighting for equal rights for sexual, um, for uh, homosexual people, well, they s may want to just uh, switch similar laws for people with disabilities and treat it as done. But we do need to have a platform to have rational discussion to resolve these issues. When the society accepts equal rights for homosexual people, then we can't ignore the issue. Because we do need to be inclusive. We do need to respect the free will of other people if they choose to uh, form a union, to enter into a union with uh, a, a person of their choice. I support the direction of the motion of Mr. Chan. I hope that we will be able to have a good discussion so that society will become truly inclusive. Uh. Mr. Dennis Kwok, President, I remember was when I was a member in the first term in Lechko, we discussed this issue. I'm a Christian. And in Hong Kong, well, not many people knew that I had a religion, and I don't actually declare it all the time. But since I'm a Christian, some Christian bodies came to see me to say, we cannot have an anti-discrimination law, and I asked why. They said that would amount to allowing some people to use that law to force religious bodies to do something that they believe are contravening what they believe in. And I was saying, this is only anti-discrimination. And it may just be about employment, the law, and work opportunities that we cannot discriminate people on those grounds. And I asked why that would be a problem. And I asked again, why we cannot accommodate homosexual marriage or civil union in law. And he said, if you allow it, it will destroy the institution of marriage. And then I asked again, If you look at marriage as a contract, what will be overthrown will be, well, you see a lot of um, marriage marriages being broken, and there are so many broken families. Families are broken, and there are broken marriages. Why? Because of work pressure bad habits, and other kinds of pressure, and a whole lot of other factors causing families to be broken. And children are forced to see the separation of their parents. This is what is breaking up families in Hong Kong.
Why don't we tackle those? Why don't we solve those problems and concentrate our efforts on opposing to homosexual marriages? Well, if two people are together, whether it's men or women, if the, the two persons want to unite with the other for life, to care for and love each other, that itself, why would it break up marriages? Rather, it actually recognizes marriage as a contract. So I don't understand. As a Christian, well, I am I'm a legislator. But it doesn't mean that I can legislate on morality. It doesn't mean that I can use my moral beliefs to legislate. As a Christian and a legislator, you need to decide what is most fair, acceptable, and correct for society. Look at the surveys. The support rose from 38% in 2013 to over 50% in 2017 and 69% said that it must uh, be the way to go to legislate uh, against discrimination. And yet we don't even take this step. Look at developments in the rest of the world. Again, we lack so much behind others. If you look at the court cases, well, I won't go into one or two because they may go to the CFA and I don't want to um, say anything about the CFA proceedings. But then some cases have been concluded. If foreigners have entered into same-sex marriage or civil union in their own place, but they are not accepted in Hong Kong and the partner cannot become a dependent and apply to come to Hong Kong to work. The court has already ruled that this is wrong. There will be continuous judicial review cases and there will be endless challenges. Is this what a responsible government should do? And also, we should look at whether our laws should take a different direction. Is the administration willing to take that step? Secretary, we always say we call ourselves an international city. But our thinking towards these policies is not informed with international angles. And the administration has dawdled so much, even with public consultation on anti-discrimination law. What are you afraid of, Secretary? Let us hear it. Look at international developments and the figures. The direction is clear. Um, a Nobel winner, Desmond Tutu, who was the uh, Archbishop in South Africa, he says that this is a crime against humanity when you discriminate against homosexuals. I don't know whether he is right, but if you look at Hong Kong, we lag behind the rest of the world. People who oppose homosexuality or even an anti-discrimination law, they have not advanced any reasons why we should not have an anti-discrimination law in Hong Kong. They have not said why. Marriage has been overthrown just because they have homosexual marriages. Did we um, overthrow the institution of marriage? No one advanced any justification for that and as to that is why with homosexual marriage uh, the marriage institution as it stands will be damaged. Therefore I really thank Mr. Chan for proposing this motion for debate. We must face up to it. I will support Mr. Chan's motion. Thank you. Ms. Dari Lee. President, again, this council debates equal rights for homosexuals. Every time we debate it, it proves to be controversial. And again, it is Mr. Chan Chi Chun who is 
moving the motion. I believe uh, they hold this very dear to their heart uh, for those who have been fighting for equal rights. And you can see what Mr. Chan is doing. You know, as legislators, we seldom enjoy um, the opportunity to move motions. And every time he has a chance, he assigns it to homosexuality. We have been talking about this uh, in the antechamber, and he was afraid that with too much delay, he might not be able to move it. So I can see that for those who have been fighting for equal rights, this is a very a topic very close to their heart. But I also want to tell you here that for those who support core family values and for those who are going to support Dr. Priscilla Leung's motion, we definitely object to any kind of discrimination. We definitely understand the difficulties faced by homosexuals. Just now, people were using a broad brush approach to say that we are waving a rod towards homosexuals. No, we Christians don't do that. There are many Christian friends who serve homosexuals with love, hoping to change them with love. Uh, they are doing it on a sustainable basis. The homosexuals may not accept this, and I'm not going into it today, but I hope you will not say that those who oppose homosexuality are discriminating or that we turn a blind eye to your pain. I'd like to share with you who are these people who support core family values. Well, you know that, don't you? We have de debated this a few times. There are people with religious beliefs, and there are others who are parents. You seem to be saying that they are the moral Taliban. I hope you will not um, call them with that name. It is not that they are opposed to social progress but they can see that this is a campaign that is sweeping the whole world. Today we may be talking about civil union for homosexuals, but in the end, we know that you really want to legalize same-sex marriage. And also, uh, you like to have anti-sexual discrimination ordinance, etc., because uh, this has already happened in Western countries. I'd like to tell you the worries of these people. They don't want to discriminate against you. And I know that many in the alliance are helping homosexuals around them. In fact, many of these laws have been entrenched in Western countries. I've received clips recently. Um, one shows a place where there is a gender recognition law. It says that after that, in a school, a male student has been judged as having the identity of a female, and so he can use a female toilet. The female students were scared, and the same happens when they went camping. Because of the gender recognition law, there is this male student in a female camp. Mr. Chen may say, you are going too far, and this is not what we are talking about today. But as I was saying, these friends can see that trend developing one step at a time. Now, of course, this may be ex a little extreme, but they are worried that later on in schools, you may be telling children that you can choose a man or a woman to marry. And some people with religion may not be able to declare in open the marriage institution they believe in because they would be accused of reverse discrimination. Well, actually, their worries are quite real. In some countries with these laws, this is already happening. Actually, Hong Kong has started late, of course, in terms of this campaign, but I can see it's gathering speed. If we look at countries with the laws, you can see that is already happening. And let us be pragmatic. I understand that homosexuals would really want to fight for equal rights. But you are not trying to see it from the other side. 
and that people who treasure core family values have their worries. And if you don't face up to those, we will just be rehashing the same points and coming to the same conclusions every time we have such a debate. As Mr. Holden Chow of the DAB said, the DAB will support Priscilla Leung's amendment because we are of the view that we object to any discrimination against homosexuals. But when we make policies, as I said, we have to have comprehensive consideration so that we can preserve uh, the value of marriage while we progress. I hope later on, if uh, we have time, we can have further communication with Mr. Chan on this issue. And there are practical issues like a state of in inheritance and also collection of ashes. Well, these can be taken care of through other legislative channels. By no, um, they don't just want to handle this. In the end, it really comes down to marriage. And I think we should look into that in more detail. But then I also think that we should try to resolve the problems one by one so we can move forward. Thank you. Mr. Vincent Cheng. Thank you, President. I would like to respond to Mr. Chan's original motion to urge the government to study the formulation policies for homosexual couples to enter into a union so that they can enjoy equal rights as heterosexual couples. I know that um, Mr. Chan have been uh, lobbying um, various members. I was not able to support Mr. Chan's motion. The marriage institution between one man and a woman has been a consensus in our society and has been a long-held position by the DAB. And as a former chairman of the Family Affairs Committee under DAB, I would not support any changes that would affect the existing marriage and family institution. Same-sex marriage and the civil union is a de facto marriage. And through legislating to recognize the same-sex relationships and well, the civil union mentioned the past as a prelude to same-sex marriage, they were, at the end they were shaken the whole marriage institution. There's a also narrative that uh, formulate policies for a uh, same-sex civil union is to uh, provide them with uh, certain rights and with these val values and cultural had much, much connection. That I cannot agree. To pay the plain, whereas for uh, legitimate rights, and uh, it could uh, get the whole th thing. And for any um, entitlements that be confirmed by a law, that a lot of the laws have the definitions of relatives, and the uh, uh, statutes have mentioned um, couples as a law mayor. And when women, for example, the IR number four amendment bill, that the uh, tax holder and court on a designated relative to an Joy at deduction on their tax premium of a ceiling of eight thousand dollars, and during at the subcommittee stage, we mentioned discussed the definition of a relative, and someone asked that uh, the uh, those uh, entry civil unions outside we reckon Hong Kong will be recognized as a relative. However, um, the however uh, the government proposed. Claims that they have to be consistent with the family definition in existing law, and this amendment is dismissed. I think um, this once they that uh, um, a lot of laws is based on one man, women, and one husband, one wife. Therefore, we have to be prudent. And recently, a senior immigration officer and his foreign partner have uh, um, married outside of Hong Kong. And in claiming this civil service bureau have failed to provide this uh, benefit, and the Inner Revenue Service not failed, allowed them to force file just a joint tax return, and which that they failed the petition with case, and now that um, the case will be heard at the Court of Final Appeal. I notice that the uh, Court of Appeal uh, judges have affirmed that the majority of Hong Kong refer marriages as heterosexual marriages, and the judges have laid out the ruling that current the Hong Kong law to recognize uh, heterosexual marriages, and the marriage institution is to cons importantly constructing families in society, and which should be protected by this law. And finally, the judge said that according to the prevailing uh, norms, uh, 
to protect institution and what the government should do, and to firstly a differential treatment is reasonable. And now that uh, the prevailing social MSU only accept heterosexual marriages, and some may claim to see that as too conservative, yet the court to find an appeal and allow to grant a stay to for the court to find an appeal. And only target that uh, under uh, heterosexual marriages is a uh, sufficient grounds to as. Uh, Deny the enjoyed of supposed benefits by same sex couples and um, but I think that I just the protection of heterosexual marriages is a legitimate policy goal. Madame Deputy, I sub think that um, uh, we should not uh, treat the LGBT community with ill intent and what is a part of society and should try to promote inclusiveness and mutual respect and non discriminatory culture and values so that um, we. Uh, we can uh, enjoy equal footing and employment in other areas, and and for the code of practice, excuse discrimination and employment on grounds of sexual orientation have been implemented for use, and yet it's still widespread discrimination. The government need to make a further step to promote uh, anti-discrimination measures. Yet on a policy level, it sh sh should not occur. Uh, formulate the policies for uh, civil unions so as to change the marriage institution and the public should uh, accept sexual minorities unless we c uh, the public have reached a consensus or with majority support otherwise the government should not uh, casually ch uh, ch change its attitude on uh, and policies on same-sex marriages and policies and any policies for the civil union must uh, get a widespread social consensus to go ahead and now, and I don't see the how can I get to this stage. In this stage, I so submit. Dr. Junior So. Madam Deputy. On Mr. Chen Shi Chin's original motion, and urged the government to study formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into unions so that they can enjoy equal rights as heterosexual couples. The study itself looked innocent enough, yet I would not support the study. Two clear reasons for this. You don't need to study into something wrong because we have these maxims, and we can take reference from history and future development, and to see development of the the neighboring countries, which show us the answer. Well, you will be able to get the same information if you conduct this research yourself. Of the 249 countries around the world, about 26 of those have recognized same-sex marriage, and there are 722 billion people around the world, and those covered by the legalization of same-sex marriages, there are about 900 million, made up about 12.5 percent of global population. Sounds like that the pendulum is swinging towards same sex marriage, and therefore we must follow this global trend. Madam Deputy, in these countries, they've been now been plagued by the malaise of recognizing same sex marriages and let the society descend into chaos. With the legalization of same-sex marriages, they also led to give rise to the anti-discrimination. We set up a lot of mechanism that have hit a lot of people. For example, the cake maker case 
just because um, the sh shop is not willing to make a wedding cake for same-sex couples, that it, um, the shop become indicted. Everyone is an, had their own beliefs. Well, um, human lasts for generations because the opposite attract and allow us to procreate. And holding such beliefs have not been been a little sidewise that um you're not respecting my belief as homosexual. Therefore, I you must, I, I must take it to court. As you see it in Europe and Germany, and and for male teachers, and just want to teach the class the students to, to say daddy and mommy, they'll actually be regarded as form of discrimination. So why couldn't be taught uh, daddy and mommy must be called uh, daddy and mommy? Can't we have two mommy and mommy? This uh, perverted measures have distorted our traditional beliefs have led to um led to a ideological chaos and under the false banner of equal opportunities we need to care about sex education. So what is it all about? Is it about males and female and union or even two men or two women? And for a sexual intercourse is there a correct way of doing it? They're not able to get hold of the basic in knowledge and they'll be confronted with such enormous pressure. So so what do you want from them? Education is supposed to promote progress and to be good instead of towards darkness and chaos. And some judges had said that the Dependent children will fare better being brought up in conventional households compared to same-sex household. That will be regarded as discrimination. Fortunately, in 2016, the European Court of Human Rights Had made a ruling on same sex marriages, which stated that same sex marriage is not a human right. I beg to differ with Ms. Claudia Mo that homosexuality is 100% genetic. You claim it's 100% genetic, you would be exist in this world. This is an abnormality. They are in a minority, and yet this group of minority and claim this out as absolute majority and become as a global trend. For it's a crime for us to discriminate them, but excuse me, it's, it's all right to discriminate. I discriminate against the injustice and the unkind. I even discriminate the people who not tell right and wrong. I will not discriminate out of skin color and religion. So it's okay to discriminate, but rob this should be based on facts. What's worse is that they can't tell right and wrong uh, with meddled justifications and attempt to uh, poison the future generation. Our object is a rage of emotion. Does any other members wish to speak? Mr. Kwang Chun Yu. Well, I think um, Mr. Junius Ho's speech was really brilliant because, well, um, he said that he discriminate against uh, people who are malicious. Well, I'm the same. But why would he make such a fuss of this motion? This motion only asked for uh, for policies to be studied into 
Are they go are they going to be um nailed onto a stake and burned? We're now in twenty eighteen, not back in the Tang Dynasty. What's going on? It's all right for us to talk about our policies here. We're protected by the Legal Pass and Privileges Ordinance. But what we have in front of us, it seems that you are going to you have the right to define what is normal and what is abnormal and who are the majorities and who are the minorities. We have in front of us a group of people with a different orientation. They are deprived of the freedom they are supposed to have. They cut. They come out to fight for the freedom that they should have, and you now try to um, rationalize that it is right for you to discriminate against them. I find it really infuriating. This motion is just to ask for a study into the formulation of policies. Something. That is a global trend for people to be able to not live in fear, not having to worry about being discriminated against. So homosexual people can, without fear, without worries, admit that they are homosexual. And they are here to fight for freedom. This is just about a f the study of a policy, and he has elevated into an unproportional level, and he's been flinging invectives or something to that effect. It really is. It makes your blood boil. We have a group of people who is trying. To fight for your acceptance, and you demonized them. You painted them as monsters. It's、uh, it's like you're trying for a witch hunt. We can see from recent survey that、uh, well,、um, number of respondents accept、uh, homosexuality, and we're moving towards legislating for. Non-discrimination because we respect everyone being equal, regardless of the color of your skin or your sexual orient orientation, or even whether you ca you can tell right or wrong. Even if you can't, I still respect you, just like Mr. Ho. This motion is to is on studying the formulation of policies for homosexual peoples to enter into a union to enjoy basic rights, just like. A heterosexual couple, they are not the、um, abnormalities. They not、um, the minorities. They just want to be able to be themselves. To well, there is a recent movie in in twenty eighteen, just、um, showing in cinema. The movie is about a very intimate couple, but because of different laws of different places, their relationship is not recognized, and they can't enter into a union. They have to pretend to be single. They have to hold, have to conceal their sexual orientation. Hong Kong is an international city we're here to debate on a motion on studying the formulation of policies but i I see a lot of discrimination it is not the case that well、uh, if you are if you're opposed to it if you are、uh, if you agree um then、uh, it is it is not right because that would amount to Reverse discrimination. The movie I mentioned was entitled "Dear X." Mr. Ray's, Mr. Ray Chan's motion is very simple: a study, just half a step. 
But as soon as you open your mouth, you elevated it to a completely different uh, level. You said that it has touched on the nerves of uh, some people in society, and it touched on the sub on the nerve of um, uh, Ho Holden Chow. And uh, he talked about with uh, two moms, two dads, and this is against um, anthropology. Well, if you study about it today, t tomorrow you're going to destroy the entire system. Do you have to exaggerate to this extent? You have elevated it from just a matter between two people to something to do with everyone. Well, these we are talking about kind people, two people who should be respected, who should enjoy rights that they are supposed to have, but they don't have these rights in Hong Kong. That's why we have Mr. Chen's motion today. We are grateful to Mr. Chen for having the courage to um, move this motion so that at least we can have a half a step, move half a step forward. You might think well, people won't say things like that. People won't openly attack you or oppose to you. No, we have heard it loud and clear. And I am very angry. We asked the administration to take half a step forward. We hope. Well, this will be a, pro this will be a move towards caring for the underprivileged that society will progress, that you will not be scared of a uh, phantom. Does any other member wish to speak? Mr. Porter. Madam Deputy. Well, this motion is just about a consultation on the 7th of um, um, November 2012. I also agree with Ms. Um, Ho's motion about a consultation. I have read the amendments. I think they are rather superfluous. It's just like the land out tomorrow. It's about reclamation. If you uh, add um, premises, uh, don't touch this, don't touch that, then it is not necessary because a consultation is a consultation. Um, one should keep an open mind to listen to different views. We have heard criticisms from the opposite uh, camp. We also hear criticism from my own camp. Of course, uh, it's a healthy discussion. Eddie G criticized uh, Mr. James Toll. Regina Ip criticized um, the amendment of Ms. Priscilla Leung. They are quality and healthy criticisms that uh, should be accepted. Perhaps um, Mrs. Yip has misunderstood Ms. Leung's amendment because uh, it says that um, respect the family values which Chinese society cherish. This is one sentence. And uh, the existing um, marriage institution based on one man and one woman and one husband and one wife is a different leg. I think the English version is clearer. I am sure that Ms. Leung will clarify. I just want to mention it in passing. I have also heard some not very healthy criticisms, especially Mr. Jeremy Tam, who cited what I said last week um, when I said that well, if you uh, it's something to the, to the effect that uh, I'm um, that you would fear um, uh, be you would fear um, gay. Oh, I play on words that I mentioned about uh, Mr. Ray Chen. I'm not going to second guess his motive, whether it is done with malice or um, he has not listened to what I've said and just picked on a part of what I've said. Well, I won't say that if someone has a slip of tongue mispronounced one word that I will say that person is illiterate. I will not take it out of context. And I do think that he should uh, get a better understanding of uh, the background of my speech and what I have been saying before uh, flinging these um, inappropriate uh, criticisms. I've been um, uh, a Christian for, an, for a very long time. I have been I, a Catholic. I was an altar boy when I was young. I have been involved in some executive positions and I've also um, participated um, in um, work of the Equal Opportunities Commission. Uh, some people have mentioned about songs and movies. 
Oscar Wilde is my favorite writer. Unfortunately, he was prosecuted and sent to prison. That was regrettable. And there was also another movie、um, depicting、uh, a homosexual、uh, man of the cloth.、Uh, so I hope that Mr. Jeremy Tam will not blindly fling criticism at me because it's inappropriate and out of context. All major changes relating to、uh, social values should be done in small steps. A member mentioned about、um, doing it in a progressive and gradual way. Yes, that is right. When it comes to equal rights, it should be done in this way. It's just like a constitutional reform. Well, when it comes to a homosexual、uh, sex act, it was.、Uh, A crime, and then it was、uh, decriminalized, and then there was prohibition of、uh, discrimination, and then there is recognition. If we take, if we move forward, that there will be recognition of、uh, civil union. So it is a gradual process. Let's look at、uh, sex acts outside、um, ho homosexuality. A couple of years ago, Pamela. Um, Pack、um, said something, and people thought that it was outrageous. But two or three decades later, no one would criticize others for just having a divorce. And there are also val other values, say for example, contraception, premarital pre sex, contraception, abortion. Times are changing. When society reach reaches the stage, things will change. That's natural. Well, we can't we can't forcefully take a a giant step forward to have a、um, civil union. We are we are at the margin, trying to break through. We need to make a decision after we have a major debate. It's very important to know when and where to draw the line. There are also other values. Say, for example, some other countries that、uh, they have a decriminalized、uh, cannabis. There's also euthanasia. We are constantly faced with uh, different uh, changes in、uh, values. In the UK, it's a very interesting、uh, country that we should look into. They have been. Uh, fighting for fifty years before they reached this point back in nineteen sixty seven. Oh, my time's almost up. Back in the days of Oscar Wilde, if you're above the age of twenty one,、uh, any sexual act、um, is illegal. And then, in, and then England, Scotland, Ireland, and then、uh, age of eighteen,、uh, same sex sex act is decriminalized. And then in、uh, in the army, there won't be a ban on homosexuality. And then there is a civil partnership and same-sex marriage. They have gone through fifty years. Well, Hong Kong is a relatively conservative society. I think our our road will be longer. In any event, at this stage, we should keep and we should be liberal. Uh, when it comes to values regarding、um, the minorities, we should not stop any consultation. Does any other member wish to speak? If not, Mr. Lam Chakting. Mr. Chair, I have been to the Senate. Madam Deputy, I. Went to church for many years, but I don't want to openly talk about my religion. I don't want religion to be brought into politics. As you know, the church's teachings have been changing over the years in the direction of openness. I remember when I was young, when we talked about homosexuality. It was a heinous crime. It was said, and then premarital sex, 
divorce, um, having an affair, all those were really heinous crimes. And if you committed one of these, you might be expelled from the church. Well, maybe some churches still do that. But whether it be the Catholic Church or the uh, Christian Church, that their teachings are becoming more open-minded. If we look at the history of the Church, especially the Catholic Church, it had a, a very seedy past. All these years, whether it be sexual minorities, the sick, or people with a different view of the universe, these people were discriminated against, they were persecuted. Some scientists confirmed that the earth should be spherical, but then no, the church said that the earth was flat. You said that it was spherical, so you flouted the church's teachings and you should be burned to death. How many errors did the church make over a few thousand years? Mr. Chen Kin Man quoted in a recent lecture that the church actually supported Adolf Hitler. Okay, let's not talk about that. And also in recent decades, the church covered up for priests who sexually assaulted young children in church. Let us not talk about those from the time when I was young until now. I have come to know that the world is much more complex than I thought it was when I was young. Um, there is a different culture, and everybody has a different background, and things are fluid. Some people say in the Chinese tradition we don't have homosexuality. Well, you don't know. This uh, proverb, it in fact pictured homosexuality in ancient times. Uh, his partner slept on his long sleeve and he did not want to wake him, so he cut off the cloth. So, and also, if you loved your homosexual partner, you would give him half a peach. So that happened. That's what the proverb said in different cultures, in different countries. History of those places talked about homosexuality. Therefore, when people say that uh, this is wrong, that this should be discriminated against, that it is a sin. When I was young, yes, indeed, that was what I was taught. But then when I grew up, I looked at human history and the many wrongs that were committed. They were extreme mistakes that were irreversible say, during the Second World War. Turin, the father of the computer, resisted Nazi Germany. He did so much in his contribution, but then he was a homosexual and he was forced to receive treatment and he killed himself. The humankind repeats its mistakes of discrimination and persecution against the minorities. These mistakes are, are too huge. I'm now 41. Let us look at human history and decide whether we should make those mistakes again. No. We should be open and accommodating and treat others who may be different from us. The viewpoint may be different from ours, but we must try to be open and accommodating as long as their conduct does not harm society. As long as their conduct does not harm our core values and principles. I, of course, understand that um, Mr. Junior's Ho and other members may have their religion, they have their viewpoints. That's all right. They're entitled to their own views. But what is important is whether the view 
should stand in the way of minorities in society, and whether、um, these people should be affected as a result. Whether I'm a homosexual because of、uh, congenital factors or I choose to, well, it's. For that person, say I I like women. I'm heterosexual. It's for me to decide. It has nothing to do with other people. We should not treat these as monsters. Let us look at human history. Premarital sex was a sin, attracting death by drowning. And having an affair also attracted death by drowning. But now you can go for a divorce, and indeed, having an affair may be attributable to many different factors. Maybe he had kind of treatment that was not acceptable from his spouse. So it's difficult to decide on family relationships, and we should not impose our subjective view on people's bedroom. What people do in the bedroom is for others. It is not what the administration should delve into. Does any other member wish to speak? If not, Mr. Chen Chichin, you may now speak on the amendments. The time limit is five minutes. Mr. Ray Chen, Madam Deputy, I would like to thank the twenty-six members who have spoken on the original motion and the amendments, regardless of the、um, diversity of opinions or even holding opposite opinion. I still like to say thank to them. For me to move the motion, like I said at the outset, it's not for you to <coughs> take a stand and finish with a vote. Instead, I would like to listen to your views, your concerns, and worries. So I to kickstart discussion. And on the three amendments, well, I supposed to thank the amendment movers, even though they、um, they may have diverse intent. As for Dr. Long's amendment, I am not able to thank her. Because my original motion is that urges the government to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into a union, so that they can enjoy equal rights as heterosexual couples. Just thirty-nine words in total, and 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 only fourteen words of my original motion remain, and only remain that this council urges the government.、Uh, This, the remaining of it is not like、um, it just、um, inverted the meaning of the amendments because、um, a lot of the amendments have actually been contrary to the position of the original motions. It's just、um, Dr. Longs have actually deleted the core of the motion. Look at at the motion that the title is to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into a union. This whole title was deleted from her amendments. So when I first saw her amendment, I'm wor worried, and maybe I may consider withdrawing my motion because if Dr. Lang's motion was passed, not only go against my intention, it would actually have、uh, buried my original motion. And now that the pandemics, well, before the by election, they、uh, actually one vote short of sixteen versus seventeen, and they may lose. But unfortunately, it's not. It has the um dichotomy between the pandemics and the perception camp. For example, Paul Che and Mrs. Regina Yip have offered different views from the camp. The biggest problem with her amendment, that for example, the policy address motion of thanks. Of course, you can't modify to the way that it is not giving thanks or to change into a condemnation. And now she actually. Um, modify amend the original wording. I'd like to respond to two areas of Dr. Leung's amendment, and even those who hold the middle ground are found unpalatable. First, they claim to be ensuring children's healthy development. I don't understand the why if we formulate policies for homosexual couples to enter a union, they would lead to your children's unhealthy development. Will your children become a homosexual and would marry? Marry into a same-sex marriage, or that would、uh, forbid you from marrying an opposite gender. Well, you s- just just teach it. A majority of people will enter heterosexual marriages, and yet some group in our society will hope to enter as 
a relationship or partnership with the same sex with the same sex, and they claim that um to uh, sh refrain from shaking the existing marriage institution, and well, for same sex couples who want to enter marriage, they want stability. So, Doctor Lang, do you want me to sit with a different guy every night, or I want to uh, spend my life with someone that I care and trust? Isn't it obvious? So, it just when the same sex couples who enter partnership have to be mutually responsible and achieve stability. If there are no uh, institution for them to protect the marriage and family stability, of course, in their eyes, the homosexual have no right to form a family because their definition of family is built on one man, one woman, and not built on love, not built on responsibility, and not built on stability. As long as it's one man or one woman, no matter uh, how unfaithful they are, they're not as, as uh, shaking existing marriage institution. It's just to oh, open an additional door to other people that would claim they were destroying the value of marriage. We're not trying to be mainstream to change the society and to make the um, homosexual as mainstream. Heterosexual marriage will be mainstay. And yes, the main heterosexual marriages uh, undergoing changes. Hope you can all uh, veto Dr. Leung's amendment, even though you don't support my emergency motion. Secretary for Constitutional Amendment Affairs, Madam Deputy, I thank members for speaking on the motion. I have been listening to twenty-seven members. I can see that um, the views expressed are about the motion of Mr. Ray Chan. They have also raised a number of issues. I can see that uh, there are three areas covered. First, is in relation to legislating for same-sex marriage. Two, is to establish a civil union system to allow same-sex couples to enjoy some or all of uh, rights enjoyed by heterosexual couples. Three, discrimination um, encountered by homosexual um, or sex or sexual minorities and that there should be public consultation and legislation against it. There are different views expressed, some for, some against. I also notice that some members think that from the perspective of fighting for equal rights, our work should continue. Say, for example, uh, we should start legislation. Legislation. They have also expressed concerns about difficulties uh, encountered by sexual minorities. They have also talked about uh, when promoting equal rights and elimination of uh, and eliminating discrimination. We have to bear in mind certain facts. There are also members who have expressed concerns. Say, for example, on formulation of policies in legislation, they are concerned that uh, it will open the gate for legalizing same-sex marriage. They are also concerned that it, it will uh, impact upon uh, our conventional ethics and moral in society. And they are also concerned about reverse discrimination issues relating to adoption and education. People or legislators from different uh, positions have spoken. They are conducive uh, to our understanding. Well, I would like to reiterate that Hong Kong SARG and endeavors to eliminate discrimination against people of different sexual orientation and has been promoting anti-discrimination values through different ca channels. We do need different stakeholders uh, to understand one another, to be inclusive and to tolerate one another and to use a pragmatic attitude to promote equal rights for same-sex um, partners. Uh, as I said at the outset, that the current uh, marriage institution is based on the monogamous and heterosexual ma marriage and is protected under the law and should be respected. 
the fact is that um, well, marriage is uh, the basis of uh, building a family. Uh, the parties uh, will commit to uh, care for one another, have children, educate and raise the children. And um, family is one of the uh, core values of the government. We have always been supporting families in the promotion of the well-being of uh, family members. Well, under the Family Status Discrimination Ordinance, CAP 527, immediate family members means a person who is related by blood marriage, adoption, or affinity. Under, mar um, under uh, the marriage ordinance, well, a marriage refers to a voluntary union for life of one man and one woman. The law doesn't recognize a same-sex marriage, civil union, or any same-sex relationship. As uh, some members have said, just like uh, Mr. Regina Ip, this uh, is related to um, Christianity. With this background and the values coming from from it, Social practices and customs uh, were formed, and the law have, and the law has also adopted um, the same approach. Mr. Vincent Chang, Ms. Priscilla Lung, and a number of other members have mentioned about mainstream views in society, and they've also mentioned about marriage institution and the impact on them. Any change will inevitably bring far-reaching implications to existing systems. It will also impact upon existing marriage and family institutions. So unless there is a clear consensus forged, we will not and should not make changes lightly. Hong Kong is a free, open and pluralistic society. We respect and um, tolerate different views and uh, different preference and positions. Society is more liberal than before, but has it reached a stage where they where society will accept um, legal recognition of a same-sex partnership? Well, we see that uh, there are different views in society. We have to take into consideration um, the views of members of the public on family and marriage, and that they are based on our tradition, history, culture, and fundamental values and beliefs. Some people are concerned about uh, any changes brought to uh, a marriage institution as well as the allocation of resources. So we can't simply adopt the practice of other jurisdictions. Currently, there are about uh, 30 places uh, that recognize a civil union. In Asia, um, there are some areas in Taiwan and Japan that recognize uh, this kind of union. In relation to the original motion as well as amendments uh, regarding some rights, our stance is that, um, well, the right to marry is based is based on an institution of monogamous and heterosexual marriage. Without affecting this principle, as I've said at the outset, that uh, we may make changes to our policies and provide resources to support sexual minorities. In fact, the administration has been making a number of uh, arrangements in different areas. Say, for example, uh, Same-sex cohabitants uh, may, uh, who are subject to uh, domestic violence, may, uh, under the Domestic and co Cohabitation Relationships Ordinance, apply for injunctions to stop um, their partners from harassing them. On claims for ashes, under the Private Columbarium uh, Ordinance, the definition of prescribed claimant includes an authorized representative, a personal representative, the purchaser of um, the interment right, or a related person, that is, a person who was living with the deceased in the same household immediately before the date of the death of the deceased and had been living with them in the same household for at least uh, two years before that. So uh, if a same-sex uh, partner fulfills the definition, then they may make, be able to make the claim for the ashes without having to have uh, relations by blood or marriage. In relation to claiming for the body of the deceased, the hospital authority um, will ask um, 
the, those parties who are next of kin, say for example, spouse, family members, friends, and carers, uh, to um, to claim the body via death registries. Uh, there will be assistance provided by public hospital. In relation to um, making decisions uh, for healthcare recipients under Section Six Bracket Three of Electronic Health Record Sharing System Ordinance, if the healthcare and recipient is age 16 or above and is incapable of giving a joint consent, the application must be made by a substitute decision maker. And under Section 3, bracket 4, it stipulates that if the recipient is age 16 and above, the memory member of, his recip um, of the recipient or of person residing with them who accompanies them at the relevant time is the substitute decision maker. On organ donation of a deceased person under the Human Organ Transplant Ordinance and the Medical Therapy Education and Research Ordinance, well, let me appeal to the public here that apart from registering under the Centralized Organ Donation Register, you should also inform your family members. Because uh, even after one has uh, registered with the centralized register, the public hospital will also ask uh, the views of the next of kin before making the uh, before going. Uh, Proceeding to the operation, and under the uh, on organ donations from a living person, the Human Organ Transplant Ordinance seeks to prohibit commercial dealings in human organs intended for transplanting and to restrict the transplanting of human organs between living persons and that of imported human organs. Hence, the decision has been made by the person themselves. Well, the CE has already announced in policy address that there will be different uh, measures um, put in place um, to eliminate discrimination against people with a different sexual orientation. Say, for example, the enhancement of publicity and public education. We are committed to promote culture and values of inclusiveness, mutual express, with the use of um, APIs in public transport, network, internet, etc. We will also uh, provide uh, subsidies to the EOC to organize uh, um, community activities uh, to promote equal rights and also to provide a support service for sexual minorities. On uh, support service to sexual minorities, we subsidize the 24-hour hotline for supporting sexual minorities operated by the TWGHS to provide timely support to them and their family members to assist them to cope with stress and difficulties. Since its inception in January this year, over 1,600 people have used it. Uh, the Group of Hospitals has also been organizing regular support groups and programs for sexual minorities. And in order to encourage uh, employers uh, to provide equal opportunities for people with different uh, sexual orientation, we have been appealing to employers to adopt the Code of Practice Against Discrimination in Employment on the Grounds of Sexual Orientation. Over 300 organizations employing a total of more than half a million people have adopted the code. We've also started um, compiling um, training kit for specific um, areas of professionals, let's say, for example, healthcare workers, human resources professionals. Uh, shortly. Later this year, we will launch the uh, training uh, resources for healthcare professionals. We also uh, currently are formulating the Charter of Non-Discrimination Against Sexual Minorities uh, to appeal to service providers to voluntarily adopt it. But in relation to uh, starting uh, public consultation on uh, discrimination against uh, different sexual orientation, as announced in the policy address, that um, well, um, the uh, government will take into account the experience gathered. And, um, a study will be conducted, so so then more information is uh, will be collected uh, to enable an in-depth and rational discussion. Would you think that um, the most important thing is to make use of different measures to um, protect equal opportunities of different with um, well, people with different sexual orientation and to eliminate discrimination? If there is no consensus and we proceed to uh, as formulate uh, policies that recognize a same-sex partnership, then it will inevitably bring controversy to our society. It may um, undermine our work to enhance protection and to eliminate protection. We will continue to work with legislators and stakeholders on this um, complex as well as controversial topic. I so submit. Thank you. I now ask Ms. Priscilla Long to move an amendment. President, uh, you're moving your amendment. I must clarify. Dr. Long, 
you can clarify. Please move your amendment. It's all right. I want to say that um, the 1.3 billion people in China, uh, there are on a one wife, one husband system. I hope that um, they can need to look at, look at the modern marriage system in China. President, I move that uh, Mr. Chan's motion to support. I hope that you can support my motion because as Bill is. I propose a question to you that the amendment moved by Dr. Priscilla Leung be passed. For those in favor, please raise your hands. And Mr. Ray Chan, claim a division. The bell rang for five minutes. Hi, Alohin. Mr. Alohin, point of order. Just no, I did not hear her saying that um, she um, moving Mr. Chan's motion. She already moved her motion. Please sit down. 
開始表決。The wedding begins. And Chang and Abraham Shek, would you like to vote? Please check your vote. Voting has stopped. Please show the results. For a functional constituency, 30 present, 17, 47 against, 5 abstentions. Geographic constituency, 29 present, 12, 4, 14 against, 3 abstentions. The question is not agreed by the majority, respectively, of those returned by functional and con geographic constituencies present. And President, I move that in the event of further division being claimed at this meeting in respect of the motion debate on studying the formulation of policies of homosexual couples to enter in union, and the council shall proceed forward with the division bell after, after the division bell going for one minute. And for those who are in favor, please raise your hand. Those against? I think the motion is supported by a majority, respectively, of those returned and functioning in geographic constituency. I ordered. I now propose to question to you, that is, that the motion move be, and the amendments be passed, the uh, vote will be um, done in one minute after the bell rang. I move that the Honorable Chen Ji Chu's motion be amended. I propose to question to you that the amendment moved by Honorable Allah be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. With those in favor, please raise your hands. Mr. L. A claim division bell will ring for five minutes. Voting begins. Please check your vote. Please show the results. For FC, 30 presents, 6, 4, 15 against, 8 abstentions. For GC, 29 presents, 16, 4, 9, 11 against, and 2 abstentions. The question is not agreed by the majority respectively of those returned by function geographic constituency present. I declare the amendment negatived. Ms. Carrie Fan, and you move for your vice amendment. President, I move that Honorable Chen Chu's motion as amended by Honorable Allah be further amended by my further advancement. I now propose to question to the revised amendment by move by Honorable Gary Fan be passed. Will those in favor please raise their hands? Mr. Gary Fan claim division. The bell rang for one minute. Voting begins. Mr. Gary Chan, would you like to vote? Mr. Gary Chan, would you like to vote? Please check your vote. And voting stop to show the results.
for FC, 30 present, 7, 4, 15 against, 7 abstentions. For GC, 29 present, 16, 4, 11 against, 2 abstentions. I think the question is not agreed by the majority, respectively, of those returned by functional and geographic constituencies present. I declare the amendment negatived. Mr. Honorable Chen Chichun, you have to have 58 seconds to reply, then debate will come to a close. Uh, President, um, yesterday uh, a well-known figure in Hong Kong said the following words, I wish to sum up today's debate, and was treating himself and to respect the other, isn't that to establish our positive human values, and I wish that all the same sex couples in love with each other to uh, become each other. She is Josephine Xiao. And Josephine Xiao said this to support in Taiwan, we have this uh, 9 in 1 election, and that, that have been um, proposed in anti LGBT referendum. And those who support LGBT equal rights and enjoy uh, equal rights to enter relationship and hope that they can, Taiwanese can come to vote to object to this uh, referendum on the anti LGBT. And however, the Hong Kong didn't get this far. Today, we're still uh, discussing to urging government to study the formulation of policies for homosexual couples to enter into union. I hope that you can support this motion. And now, put the question. With those in favor, please say there. Put the question to you that the motion by Omni Chen be passed. And now, to, uh, let me point claim division, and the bell will ring for one minute. Voting begins. Please check your vote. If no queries, voting has stopped. Please show the results. For FC, 29 present, 7, 4, 15 against, 6 abstentions. For GC, 29 present, 17, 4, 12 against, and 0 abstentions. The question is not agreed in majority, respectively, of those returned by function and geographic constituencies present. I declare the motion negative. I did not adjourn the meeting, and we'll uh, reconvene on, on 11 a.m. on 28th of November.